Aloha. So today's question is, how do I find my guide or guru? This is a very interesting question. So at first realize that there is no separation between you and the divine or the universe. It is the same energy. So sometimes we get stuck with our thoughts or with our body, mind or the body. So someone who can really guide you out of that is your guide or is your guru, those who remove that uh, ignorance or that darkness inside of you and bring light to you is the guru. So make sure that we are not getting caught up with a person. See the whole existence as your guide or the guidance, giving you the guidance. Then you need to pay attention. These days there are a lot of people, they are using the spirituality as a business. So they won't liberate you. They won't tell you, oh you are one with the divine. So you are already awakened only the idea of oh, I am not awakened. I need to do this, I need to do that. So we hold on to that. So that's why we don't experience that awakening. So instead of getting caught up with this idea that oh I need to find my guide, I need to find my guru, let go of that and pay attention around you. So whenever we have certain limitation by the identification with the body or the mind, there can be someone who can liberate you from there. So that, that person may be around you, right next to you. So for example, once we go beyond the identification of the body or the mind, we feel so free. So if anyone gives you guidance, and that makes you more free or more limited. That part we need to decide. So if you are feeling, oh, this is limiting me. So then make sure that you are not holding on to it. So when someone gives you some guidance to limit you, they may have some intention to enslave you or like uh, they want to gratify their own ego. Always realize that you are free. So this limitation is coming by the identification of the body or the mind. You are free like the movie screen. It's not getting affected by anything body is getting affected. Sometimes our body get affected because of our own habits. So then we may have health issues. Otherwise we feel healthy every day. We don't really experience any kind of heaviness in the body. Same with the mind. We don't experience any limitations of the mind. That's why daily meditation practice is very important. So we do one day event here in Hawaii. It's a silent event. So you can come and participate whenever you are ready. So the details or follow the link when I mean you can find the information. So you can come here. That is the experience of that stillness within you. So once you experience that, you go beyond the body, beyond the mind. You transcend both. In that state, what is left is the bliss. That's all. We experience this amazing joy within. So 
the limitations disappear the mind disappear the limitations of the body also disappear i hope this can help you in your practice remember that the whole existence is your guide you pay attention to the people pay attention to anything part of this existence which you can visibly see aloha